the Joe Rogan experience. Oh my God! I read TikTok's terms of service. Uh -huh. I went down a TikTok rabbit hole yesterday. Yeah, it's good. I stayed home, smoked a little weed, and I started reading up on TikTok. Yeah. Oh my God! I'm gonna read you this because this is so crazy. Is it good or bad? Bad. It's so. What are you saying? It's a bad place to be. <clears throat> Listen to this. This is uh, from TikTok's privacy policy. All right. It said, uh, we collect certain information about the device you use to access the platform, mm -hmm. such as your IP address, um, user region. Uh, this, this is really crazy. Uh, user agent, mobile carrier, time zone settings, I identifiers for advertising purpose, model of your device, the device system, network type, device IDs, your screen resolution and operating system, app and file names and types. So all your apps and all your file names, all the things you have filed away on your phone, really? they have access to that. File names and types. Keystroke patterns or rhythms. So they're monitoring your keystrokes, which means they know every fucking thing you type. Wow. Battery state, uh, audio settings, and connected audio devices, where you log in from multiple devices. Oh. We will be able to use your profile information to identify your activity across devices. We may also associate you mm. with information collected from devices other than those you, knew you use to log into the platform, meaning they can use other computers that you're not even using to log into TikTok, they can suck the data off that. That's what you're agreeing to when you download and start using TikTok. Do you, That's my, wild. It's insane. My question would be, do you think they did that? They created TikTok just on purpose to have all that? A hundred percent. Wow. I think they saw that people are addicted to social media and they came up with the most addictive version of social media, which is TikTok. It's the most addictive by far. It's the yeah. best for sucking people in. My, my kids are fucking hook, line, sinkered on that shit. And I know a lot of other people are hook, line, sinkered to grown people. It's good. It's good. And it starts playing things immediately. The moment you turn it on, it's like playing you a new thing, playing right. you a new thing. You're like, Aah! and you just sucked into it. And all the while, it's monitoring your keystrokes, Fuck. your audio settings. But by audio settings, that means it has access to your microphone. That means it's listening to you right Just tell me how it right ends, now. man. It ends with China having all of your data. And if they develop if they a, get a all sort the data, of digital then currency, what? then what? Well, you're fucked. Or because if they look what's going on in China, Fuck, I don't know if you've man. seen this, but they they pulled tanks in front of banks to stop people from fucking rioting because they just took all their money. Did you see all that? Mm -mm. Yeah. Did you see that shit? No. Oh my god, they have uh, shut down people's accounts and they're doing a, a social credit score system in China okay. and they have digital currency. Video, Video of, of tanks shows Chinese military exercise, not bank barricade. Yeah, according to China and the AP. But if you see what, what's going on over there with the digital currency, what they have is the ability to tell you you can't buy gas. Like, hey, Theo, we don't like the way you're living your life, so you're not going to be able to buy a plane ticket. China's a dump, <clears throat> man. Yeah. I mean, there's cool people, and I like some of the food, but I think, the pl I think it just... I don't know. I don't like the way they're doing it all. What any military exercise they're doing when they're putting tanks in front of a bank is intimidation at the very least. Do you think the Scaring people there people even the know least. what freedom is anymore? Or you think they're just so brainwashed? They've never had freedom like we have, so no. I mean, they weren't even capitalists for a long time, right? It was a communist country, and then they realized, you know what? In order to compete, we got to loosen this up a little bit and let some people get greedy and make a shitload of money. And that's what they did. They, they kind of have a hybrid of capitalism and communism, you know, because in the old days, it was like the government would tell you what you do. Okay. And the government would tell you what you get paid. All right. And you just did what you had to do. You did what you were told. Right. But what they do now is they allow people to get extraordinarily wealthy. So some people, they develop industries, they develop businesses, and they work in conjunction with the government. Like every business that exists in China, say it's a tech business. Mm -hmm. You are an arm of the government. You you don't you're not independent from the government. Like that was the, the the concern with Huawei. Like when they were trying to when they banned Huawei phones from being distributed in America. Do you mm -hmm. know about all that? I don't think so. It's not the gas station. It, they it's no. Like that's a, uh, that's uh, Wawa, right? What is it? You're talking about flip phones. It's 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 a H. -dub. No, they have super complex. Okay. Um, smartphones wow. like Huawei, Huawei. it Huawei. starts with an H 
Huawei had Huawei. some amazing phones. Oh, Huawei. 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 Okay. Yeah, with an H. Okay. Um, and they had amazing phones that yeah. they were using, like, they, they had, like, 100 megapixel digital cameras before anybody did. Really, like, high-end phones. But they also had network devices that were stealing data. Fancy. Yeah. Well, they, they were stealing, they, they were using them as spy devices. Okay. You know, like, all this shit that I was reading about TikTok? Well, that's, they have a similar situation with, like, their routers. So that's spying. So they're spying, 100%. basically. A hundred percent. But what do they do once they have all this information? Like, what's the end goal to having it all? Oh, As yeah. The FBI found Huawei equipment in Midwest could disrupt nuclear communications, CNN. And that is uh, from yesterday. I'm going to send you this, Jamie. I'm going to send you some new thing. Hold on a second. Dang. Because this is really crazy. Um, <sighs> this is some shit that they found out where the FBI director uh, starts talking about. Uh, I'll, I'll send you this, Jamie. Hold on a second. The FBI director was talking about how bad their the Chinese uh, spying is mm -hmm. on Americans mm -hmm. and he said it's bigger than every other country combined why do they want to spy on us though because what because we are what stealing intellectual property stealing all your data stealing credit card numbers stealing the, where you're going tracking you if you're uh, criticizing the Chinese government like whatever the fuck you control like, so say one day they could like one day, would it be possible then if they take all this information that they could just like commandeer, like say, like a business's website for right? sure, like Nike for sure. And listen, so let's then listen every to this guy talk. Okay. Listen, to this guy talk. Go, go full screen. Gosh, sure. Go full screen, and then give me some volume. Biggest threat we face as a country from a counterintelligence perspective is from the People's Republic of China, and yep. especially the Chinese Communist Party. No country presents a broader, more severe threat to our ideas, our innovation, our economic security than China. Mm. Uh, and they are targeting our innovation, our trade secrets, our intellectual property uh, on a scale that's unprecedented in history. They are, have a bigger hacking program than that of every other major nation combined. They have stolen more of Americans' personal and corporate data than every nation combined. What is the FBI doing about that? So the FBI is keenly focused on the China counterintelligence threat. Uh, we are now moving at a pace where we're opening a new China counterintelligence investigation about every 12 hours. Jesus Christ. Every 12 hours. So, like, say one day you could go to a website, right, to buy something, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. And China has the information of the website. It has your information. Mm -hmm. And they could wonder if they could like put their own website over it. So you actually just buy it and they send it to you from China and they make the money. And that company never even gets there. I'm order. sure they could do that. It'd be even worse. How about this? Maybe okay. you develop something. All you right. develop some new innovative technology. All right. But you develop it using an internet that's connected with Huawei devices or some other device that... Chinese government has infiltrated and put third-party access to so all they right. they infiltrate all of your secrets And when you go to market, they've already created it So they already have put people to work building the thing that you have worked so hard to develop They they put engineers on it and they do it so all of our intellectual property all of our creative pursuits in terms of like innovation they 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 steal all that Wow, and they just do they build it over there. Do you know they have Apple stores in China that have nothing to do with Apple? Everything's counterfeit. Oh, dude, one time I went to this Starbucks one time in Jamaica, right? Somebody had, we went in there and uh, they, somebody had just stolen a Starbucks sign and put it up outside of this place. <laughs> so we go in and the guy's like, welcome to the Starbucks lounge. He's like, can I get you a smoothie? And I was it was like, in Jamaica? Yeah, dude. So it was just, he just had a Starbucks sign. Yeah, it was like a smoothie shop, dude. It was so ridiculous, bro. Well, other countries have like totally different rules in terms of what you can get away with and what you can. And China's yeah. rules are wild. You know, they have versions of uh, world cities that they've built replicas of in China, like they have a version of Paris. Mm -mm. Have you seen it? Mm -mm. Find, Google a Chinese version of Paris. Because they have the kind of money they have in China, and because they have like free reign to do whatever the fuck they want, they've literally built 
cities Damn. that they don't even use. Oh, I wonder if... Uh, what are you wondering? I'm trying to think what I'm wondering. <laughs> Look at this. The Eiffel Tower left is one of Paris' most iconic landmarks. The second largest replica in the world can be found in... Boy, say that word. Chang, Chang. Tian Du Cheng. Tian Du Cheng. Tian Du Cheng. After the Paris Las Vegas Hotel in Nevada. Like, mm. look at that one on the right. That is a fake Eiffel Tower. It yeah. looks exactly like it. But and it's it, in China. But that's just like look, us just. But look, they build the buildings. Yeah. Do you have to sign in for this shit? Everything's Entering your like email. That. But look, they, they made all the different buildings there. Wow. That's what's wild. Like, mm. they've recreated everything. They recreated, look at that. I mean, that is fucking wild. They recreate the building on the corner. They, re they recreate all this shit. Look at that. It's that's like, in China. Oh, yeah, that's the replica of It's a Paris. huge replica of Paris. Like, they've literally reproduced Paris. Well, dude, the one thing that's wild about China, you ride on the trains, and sometimes they have these buildings, and they're just, they built them, but there's no windows. They're just, like, completely abandoned, but they're huge high-rises just everywhere. There's nothing in them. Like, yeah, little... exactly. It's the same thing. That's what we're talking about. Like, they... They, they have the ability to do stuff like that that we just don't have. What do they do if somebody dies over there? Do they bury them or they don't care? I don't know. I mean, they can definitely make you disappear over there. 